What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be playing Umbreon on a rain team that also has Mouse Ape. Uh, I found this on the Pokesports Discord server, uh, posted by Kirby. Thank you, Kirby. This team looks super strong and super cool, and Umbreon is sick. Uh, this Umbreon set, it's running Snarl, Foul Play, Skill Swap, and Moonlight. Just to be a troll, really. Just lower their special attack, uh, knock out physical attackers, and skill swap to just mess with abilities. There are so many things you can do with skill swap. It's crazy. Uh, but anyway, the rest of the team is just Pelipper Archaladon. This is a really bulky Archaladon that I really like. Uh, and it's it just throws electro shots in the rain, gets body press boosted way up thanks to this mouse hold, which has beat up. This beat up can go toward the Archaladon, or it can go toward this Annihilate, which is the last mode of this team, or rather the first mode of this team based on this order, uh, just to do massive Rage Fists. I'm sure you all know about that. And finally, Ogre Pond here. Ogre Pond is kind of bulky. It can support the Annihilate or the Archaladon more with Follow Me's, or it can just do crazy damage in the rain that Pelipper sets up. But anyway, this team looks super solid. I'm ready to play it. Let's get on with it. Okay, we've got, whoa, Overquill, Hisui and Gudra, Water Ogre Pond, Porygon 2, Landorus Incarnate, and Gouging Fire. What's the Overquill doing? Is it gonna explode or something? I'm pretty scared of it exploding. Uh, I know it has Intimidate, so maybe Annihilate is a good lead. What's their answer to Annihilate? They don't have anything that's super solid. I mean, they have Landorus, which can do some good damage. Mouse 8 might be pretty good here. Uh, how does Umbreon fare? We've got Snarl. Snarl's alright. I'd be worried about getting burned if I try to foul play the Gouging Fire. Um, do I want Rain Squad with Archaladon? Yeah, maybe I do. Maybe just, just two and two for this match. Archaladon seems pretty cool. Uh, Landorus is like the scariest thing though. I guess maybe Umbreon can handle Landorus. Maybe I don't, yeah, maybe I don't bring Rain. I just bring Archaladon. And Umbreon? Or is it Ogre Pond for more support? Yeah, we're just gonna full support the Annihilate. Yeah, I think this works. Like, they don't have a Fluttermane or anything. So all these fairy weaknesses, who cares? Plus, I want to see what Umbreon can do. I don't really get your trainer card, but at least it's something. Alright, Gudra Landorus. Gudra Landorus, right off the bat. Okay. I want... Man, I want to just beat up Rage Fist, but I'm worried that Landorus will just do too much damage. I'm not too worried about Gudra doing damage, honestly. So maybe I do just Rage Fist and beat up. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna send it immediately. All right, there we go. No Terras, no Protects. A critical hit on the ape, that's great. And then... Just earth power into the mouse, okay. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Goodbye. I... Nice! <laughs> Alright! Sometimes just doing the thing is the right thing to do. And they just shelter with their, with their Gudra, okay, cool. That is mostly okay. I mean, that'll get out of control someday. But I've got what? I've got Super Fang to make you a little weaker, and I've got a strong Rage Fist for you. Yeah, that's cool. Oh no! Friend Guard P2! No! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why couldn't you have Defiant? Oh no! <laughs> Great. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna Rage Fist and Super Fang the Gudra. See how low I can get it down to. 
Man. Yeah, there's no way Rage Fist does it now that you got Friend Guard and plus two. Oh, man. Oh, but you just shelter again? Okay. And what's P2 doing? Trick rooming, I guess? No, just Ice Beam in the mouse. That's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind that at all. I'm still faster than your Gudra. That means I can just knock it out. Let's see, what do you got? Leftovers? You do have leftovers. You probably have Protect then. Uh, but you could also have something weird like Life do. I could... I could go to Umbreon now and snarl down the P2. Make it not a concern at all for Annihilate. Or I could... Eh, Ogre Pond would just start taking damage. Yeah, I'm gonna go Umbreon. Let's see if Umbreon can help us close this out. Plus a little bit of chip with from Snarl will be good against Gudra. Um, do I want to just launch a Rage Fist immediately? Or should I start bulking up? Because Rage Fist at plus two, it did more than a quarter. But now that you're at plus four, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Rage Fist Snarl. Uh, you might just protect Gudra though. No, you, maybe you don't have Protect. Maybe you have, like, Life Do, which might be worse. Go down, go down, go down. It did not go down. Oh, boy. That Friend Guard P2. No, it does have Life Do. Ah! All right, that Friend Guard P2 has to go. I guess I could just boost myself up to plus six. Yeah, now they set Trick Room. You're never going to be able to body press my Annihilate, because I'm not going to Terra it. Uh, do you have something that can bait out a Terra from me? I hope not. So it's time to start bulking up. And I think I'll steal your friend guard. Yeah, there we go. That'll do it. Nice. All right, what are you just gonna go to plus six? No, does life do? All right, spend all your healing. I got all day. I've got a friend guard, Umbreon. And I've got an Annihilate that's boosting up. Love it. <laughs> that actually worked out pretty well. But no, I'd, I'd still rather not have had Trace in the first place. Like, that Gudra would be long gone. Long gone. Alright, they might want to get their P2 out. I don't know. I'm happy to just bulk up again. I'm going to try to foul play whatever comes in. I think Porygon 2 is going to leave. Yeah, get me some free damage here. On to Overquill. Do you have Intimidate? Because that's just going to make me stronger. Yeah! Thank you. You're not going to take much foul play damage, though. And Body Press into Umbreon does everything. Great. Bye, Umbreon. <laughs> okay. I guess I should have considered a Terra on that. Uh, hopefully Annihilate has enough attack now. With that free boost it got, and Gudra's at half, and it no longer has Friend Guard, I think we might be alright. I don't know what to think about Overquill, though. Yeah, I, I, have, no, I have no thoughts about overquill and what it does and what it is plus three attack yeah i'm happy with that uh is drain punch more i got hit four times that's 250 drain punch is super effective it's 150 i guess rage fist is still stronger okay all right and then i'm just going to spiky shield because i don't know what that other thing does i don't want to get like gunk shotted here Just a life do. That's fine. I think I'm out damaging your healing at this point. 
Oh, that gets rid of all your defense boosts, bro. Okay. I. That's a play. Yeah, by Kudra, all right. Rage Fist Act, don't go away. Oh man, thanks, I guess. Now don't get water absorbed, please. Define, there you go, okay. I don't know why it just picks randomly. It should just go like straight across. All right, uh, Trick Room, last turn of Trick Room. And I guess I bulk up here. And terastalize. And just, who do I have you cudgel? I guess Overquill? Porygon 2 probably has healing. Yeah, here we go. Okay. <laughs> I guess I should have Terra the uh, Umbreon earlier. Oops. What am I, Fairy Terra? That would have that taken a hit or two. But it's all working out. They really have nothing for Annihilate. I, I maybe they do. I don't know. I don't, still don't know what Overquill is. Yep, this Ice Beam into Ogre Pond bounces off harmlessly. Oh, they have Toxic. Oh no, that's gonna be annoying. I don't like that. You gotta go. I'm targeting you. And a drain, a drain punch of 75. But Ape has been hit four times. 250, half of 250. Still. Even though it's a dark type, it's still the strongest move is Rage Fist. But it's, it's in Drain Punch range, I'll just Drain Punch it. Cancel out a little bit of this Toxic Ticks. Now what, they're gonna probably... Do they, they don't have room for Toxic Haze and Protect, right? We'll see. And now it's their Terra. What do they got? What do they got? Oh, it's Porygon 2? Ghost? Okay. I can hit you much harder now, thanks. I appreciate that. I guess they were calling a Drain Punch into that this turn. But that is not where I'm going with this. Goodbye, Overquill. And that was the last problem. I think we're good now. What do you got, P2? Trick Room? That, that's fine. Just gonna follow me Rage Fist now and you're done. You're not stopping this ape. I punch you, and I make you punch me. GG. Alright, good cancel. You saw it. Good game. All right, now we're fighting the Chen Pao Dragapult combo with Fluttermane, one of the Urshifus, Amoongus, and Incineroar. Eh, probably Water Urshifu. Probably Scarf Water Urshifu. Scarf Water Urshifu is a problem for Annihilate because we are Terra Fire. Uh, Ogre Pond would make that a little better though. Oh, uh, is our Chaladon really good here? Kinda. Kinda. It's Terra Flying. That's not bad. Uh, we could do Pelipper with that. Um, is Umbreon good? Umbreon can probably Oko Dragapult. So that's pretty cool. I might want to do that. I might want to do that right away. Uh, I'm also worried about Spore, so I have to bring Ogre Pond. Uh, so yeah, it's these four. Just have to pick a lead. Pick a lead, pick a lead. I don't think I want to lead Ogre Pond. I think I want to lead Umbreon, though. Maybe Umbreon Archaladon? Could be cool. Try not to get Sacred Sword in turn one. With Pelipper and Ogre Pond. I think that works. Um, I guess an Incineroar lead might be annoying. No, yeah, I think this is okay. I'm gonna give it a shot. And then I'll probably want to swap something in, either Ogre Pond to take a Surging Strikes, or Pelipper to set up the rain. But we'll see. I'm hoping I can just catch Dragapult with a foul play immediately. That would be really funny. Ooh, Groudon, nice. Don't bring Groudon. 
I have a rain team. I don't like that. Alright, it is Water Urshifu and Dragon Bolt. Okay. Then I think what they would do... I want to foul play. I want to foul play really, really bad. So I'm just doing it. But I also want to electro shot really bad. Yeah. I'd rather electro shot. I'll foul play later. I'll try to position this so I can get a foul play into that thing later, but I'm gonna electro shot first. I'm just concerned that a close combat is coming into something. I don't want Umbreon to get like doubled into and go down. But if Pelipper goes down, it's fine. It's just here to set rain. Alright, yep, it's just dragon darts, that's fine. Give me a defense boost, so if you are close combating, you're not going to knock out our Chalodon anymore. Oh, and it's U-turn. Lame! Lame. Should have gone for the foul play. Okay, now who did you have that takes Electro Shot well? Because I think you know that's coming. Did you have anything? Fluttermain takes it okay. And you're a speed booster. Well, I'm never catching that. Alright, what's my answer now to this Fluttermain? Hopefully it just... Hopefully I just crit or something and it goes down. But I'm pretty sure it takes this. Okay. Pretty good damage. Uh, our Chaladon's actually pretty healthy still, too. What's your investment? Are you gonna... Oh, You might take a fairy move. Hang on. I uh, know I'm cool with that. We're gonna we're gonna knock that thing out. And Pelipper, you're just gonna I don't know what you're gonna do. Probably Wide Guard? Does Wide Guard stop Dragon Darts? I think so. Yeah, and then I'll just Electro Shot again. Alright, show me Dazzling Gleam Darts. Dazzling Darts, Dazzling Darts. Nope, that's just a Moon Blast. Which bounces right off. Love it. And Dragon Darts. Dragon Darts goes through Wide Guard? Huh. Okay. I guess it's not technically a spread move. Well, Pelper wasn't going to get anything done anyway. And now we have a plus two Archaladon for you to worry about. And I can bring in Ogre Pond to redirect some moves. And then if you have U-Turn on Urshifu, it's definitely choice. So it would just U-Turn out if I brought in Ogre Pond. But we could take advantage of that knowledge. Okay, yeah, you do have Urshifu. Alright, so who are we going to knock out? You're gonna swap, you're gonna U-Turn, and you're gonna go into either Chen Pao Moongus, Incineroar. Maybe I Horn Leech just in case they close combat, because I don't want to actually U-turn. I don't want to actually follow me, if they're just going to U-turn anyway. Horn Leech doesn't cover Incineroar and Moongus, we Dragon Pulse as well. Okay, I think this will work. Oh, they hard swapped. Why would they hard swap? And it's Chen Pao. I'm so glad I doubled it. All right. And what's your pult doing? Just darts? Okay. I'm going to heal that back. That. Crit! Oh, no! Not a crit! Oh, no! Oh, oh, I get a crit too, but mine doesn't matter. Oh no. Okay, Umbreon. 
You're gonna have to... You're gonna have to do a lot. Alright. One option is Spiky Shield, Terra Fairy, Foul Play. Uh, who, do, who would I rather eliminate? Would I rather eliminate Dragapult or Chen Pao? If I go Terra Fairy... Is this rain almost done? Two whole turns, ooh. Yeah, I need to keep this around, so I spiky shield. And then... I think I want to foul play Dragapult. That's what I've wanted to do this whole time. I'm just gonna do it now. Oh, I didn't Terra? Oh no! Umbreon, no! I'm sorry, I didn't click the button! Umbreon, no! Oh, that's my fault. Oh. Oh, I hit the button, then I went back, and then I didn't hit the button, and now... Ah! Okay, well, there's no win in that now, right? Uh, Chen Pao could just miss forever, I guess. I don't know. Ugh. Oh, that feels so bad. No. We had inner focus, we weren't gonna flinch from Icicle Crash. Dragon Darts would have done nothing. Dragapult would be gone. Oh no. Then I guess they would, what, double Ogre Pond. I take out Shen Pao. Dragon Dance? Wait, are they throwing? Wait a minute. It's not over. It's not over. Don't give up because it's not over. I don't know how it's not over, but it's not over. Okay. Bye, Dragapult. And now with the Sword of Ruin boost, we should be able to Oko Urshifu. We just have to take... A Sword of Ruin close combat plus whatever Chen Pao wants to throw. I don't know if we're going to do that. So I think it's still over. I think... We've got some defense, but not enough. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, it's close combat, which does way too much. And then what? You miss Icicle Crash. No, you have crunch. Yeah, it's over. Ah, good game. I'm sorry, Umbreon. Okay, we're fighting a rain team, and I'm gonna try not to throw this time. Uh, Amoongus, Archaladon, Baxcalibur, Fluttermane, Pelipper, and Urshifu. Presumably water. Alright, who's a good answer to all of that? Archaladon's pretty good against all of that. I like Archaladon against every single one of those things. Uh, the main threat would be their own Archaladon getting kind of scary. Which, I mean, we don't have a super solid answer into Ar their Archaladon, except maybe Annihilate. But Annihilate doesn't feel very good here, because we'd have to tear a fire, and then they have Urshifu. Uh, so I think it's these four again. I could just not bring Pelipper of my own, let them set the rain. And just use Mouse Hold. We have Safety Goggles. That'll help against Amoongus a lot. And if we're Terra Ghost, Baxcalibur... Yeah, we're Terra Ghost. Uh, not Baxcalibur. Archaladon can't body press us. And then Ogre Pond, Umbreon? Is Umbreon good here? Umbreon is okay here. I don't hate Umbreon. Is Pelipper better? No. Pelipper's okay too, but I'm gonna bring Umbreon. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna rely on them setting the rain for me, and I'm definitely want to bring Ogre Pond here. I don't know if Umbreon is the right last. It can snarl. It can foul play that Bax. Hmm. I don't know what good skill swap is gonna be, but maybe I can find something funny to do with that. Yeah, they do set the rain for me. Awesome. 
Awesome, awesome. I think I want to go straight into a beat up body press combo. Just right off the rip. Just get a really strong body press before they can get any boost of their own. Yeah. I'm just gonna do it, because I'm fast with this mouse hold, unless they're like Scarf Pelipper. Yep, we get it. Alright. Alright, we're beating up, we're beating up, we're punching the bridge, we're da 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 be Beat up's just too slow, man. You wanna you wanna play a timer stall game? Put beat up on it. Okay. Now what you got? Uh, they set Tailwind. All right, you can have speed control. I'll be just way tankier. And they electric shot. Hopefully, they just go down. Cause that that's probably at Mouse. Can Mouse take that? I think so. It'll be kind of close. Oh, take that comfortably. They must be super bulky, and then they lift them. Nope. Goodbye. Ha. <laughs> that. You got speed control, but I still have a bridge that's alive, so I think I came ahead in turn one. And you got a Moongus? Um, is a Moongus a problem? Because if I follow me, they will knock me out before the spore. I could Electro Shot Protect, but then our Chaladon's still probably going to sleep. I think that's okay. They, they might want to like Rage Powder or something with their Amoongus anyway. They might spore right into the mouse hole. They might not know. They might not. Yep, it was just a hurricane. And then presumably your Focus Sash. I'm kind of hoping your Focus Sash. I don't want to get you into something new when you spore me. I would much rather you just survive and I just waste a sleep turn. Yeah, good. Cool. Fine by me. If you just... But now it's gonna take you another turn to take out the mouse, and you're not gonna get any big momentum out of it. And should I just double protect from the mouse? I don't see anything better to do. Tailwind is two whole turns. Yeah, it doesn't matter what he does. And I'm just gonna protect the mouse again. I probably won't get it, but it's fine. They're just gonna knock me out with Hurricane if I don't get it. And if I went for an attack, they would knock me out with Hurricane anyway. Okay, they're switching their Amoongus into... Fluttermane. Cool. Uh, what booster do you got? Speed booster. Alright, you're not that strong. I don't care. And I don't get to protect, and then you hurricane me, and I die. Yep, okay. That's fine. Do I want to do Umbreon, Terastalize, and Snarl them down? Do I want to go with Ogre Pond and protect the last turn of Tailwind? I'm gonna do Umbreon first. Ogre Pond is better against Amoongus. Neither of these are very good against Amoongus. Actually, Amoongus is a problem. But yeah, I will just go for a heavy slam on the Fluttermane, and Terra this time, and Snarl. Alright, good job, Jordy. You remembered to hit Terra. You won't get absolutely wrecked this time. I hope. I think. I'm not sure what they can do, other than, like, what, Hydro Pump plus Moon Blast? I don't know if that knocks out Umbreon. Umbreon's tanky. And now, Umbreon is pretty. What do you think you are, Sylveon or something? 
You can be a Sylveon, Umbreon, it's okay. Alright, we just Moonblast our Chalodon. That does nothing, because it's so bulky. I love this spread. I love how bulky this Archaladon is. And they also Hurricane it, okay. If Snarl connects on both, you're gonna lose Pelipper. And have a weak Fluttermane that's locked in. Cool with me. Bye bye. And I have plus six body presses I could throw at that Amoongus. Or would it be better to. Would it be better to just heavy slam? Flutter? You know, I really don't know. Well, I know. Mm, I guess I could swap our Chaladon out. Like, plus six defense, but I'm not using it. But I will just. Oh, neutral special attack. Yeah, I'll body press. No. I'm gonna heavy slam. And I'm going to snarl again. Yeah. That's what I'll do. Our Chaladon has to wake up at some point. I guess you could Rage Powder. Oh, you did Rage Powder. Well, your Fluttermane just keeps getting weaker and weaker. 92 down to 53. We wake up. Heavy Slam does nothing. But you're not Rocky all day, so that's cool. And now your Fluttermane is even, even weaker. Alright, well then I'll just body press the Amoongus and... I guess continue to snarl? <laughs> Umbreon's got this in the bag. Umbreon alone's gonna take on that Fluttermane. Even if our Chalodon gets crit or something. Okay, I, I was scared when I said that out loud. I was like, I should not have said that out loud. Man, that Amoongus don't want to go down. Ugh. Alright, and then you're even weaker. I guess I... I still think plus six body press is stronger than Dragon Pulse. And I will continue to snarl. Yet yeah, you just keep rage powdering. You know, you could probably like protect and throw a spore or something. Moonblast, does it knock out this time? It does. Alright. Good job, Archaladon. You've done enough. Umbreon can take it home. In fact, why don't we just knock out Fluttermane next? Since you can't rage powder the Ogre Pond. Ivy Cudgel, the Fluttermane, and I will... I don't know, is Foul Play stronger on Amoongus? Maybe. It has like 80 base attack or something. Alright, go ahead and protect. What are you gonna do? What, do you have like Sludge Bomb or something? I've seen Sludge Bomb Amoongus picking up. That, hmm. Damage is damage. And then, yeah, you just sleep that thing. Okay. Umbreon will eventually wake up and beat you. Right. If you had Sludge Bomb, you probably would have used it by now. Ivy Cudgel, and we'll wake up eventually. Alright. Do your worst. Umbreon's got you pinned. <laughs> Props on them for not giving up, though. Like, yeah, technically, they could just start critting Moonblast left, right, and center and just win anyway. Wow, that did nothing. That did nothing damage. Yep, Fluttermane's gone. Uh, now maybe you should force it. The big sludge bomb, super effective crit, get the poison. Knock out Ogre Pond. No, just Pollen Puff. Yeah, that also did negative zero damage. Okay. Can you have negative zero? Someone tell me if negative zero is a thing. Battle was cancelled. Alright. 
Good game. Good game, Umbreon. Okay, Fluttermane, Urshifu, Incineroar, Rillaboom, Ogre Pond, Water, and Gothitelle. Okay, they have one cool thing. The rest of that is super lame. Oh, it's probably Dark Urshifu. What do we have against Dark Urshifu? We have Fairy Terra Umbreon, but it doesn't really do anything. Wait, what? What do we have against Dark Urshifu? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Uh, anyway, uh, what do we have against Gothitelle lead? I guess Annihilate Mouse Hold would be okay. Mouse can tear a ghost. They have a lot of fake outs, so this lead is actually pretty good. Urshifu is really scary. Don't really have speed control here. Uh, I guess I need Ogre Pond just to redirect Wicked Blows later. Uh, and then something else. Uh, our Chaladon could be good against Rillaboom. Can maybe take a hit from Dark Urshifu. Pelipper can maybe take a hit from Dark Urshifu because it's sashed. Umbreon doesn't do well into Dark Urshifu, which is the scariest thing there. Ooh. I guess I want to bring our Chaladon last. Yeah, that's what I want to do. It would also help take care of Fluttermane. Hopefully this works out. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be so scared of Dark Urshifu, and then it's going to be like the water one, and I'm going to be completely unprepared. Alright, you've got Rillaboom and Fluttermane. Well then. And your speed booster Fluttermane. Okay, uh, I see no reason not to double protect here. Is there something better I could do than double protect? I could swap Mouse Hold to Archaladon pretty safely. Then I would threaten, but what would be the point? I'll probably just double protect and then terastalize Ape next turn. Oh, their plan could also be Glide plus Moonblast to just knock out the mouse so I never get a beat up off. That seems like a good plan. But they'll have to wait till next turn to do that. Show, show me that's what you were doing. No, just fake out? Okay. It's a fake out and a moon blast then? Into who? Into mouse. Alright. Yeah, they're gonna glide, and they're gonna moon blast. And they're gonna do that into the mouse. I think. Just in case they don't, I should Terra Fire anyway. Terra Fire bulk up. And I can pretty safely bring our Chaladon in on that combo. Get some defense boosts going. No point in Rage Fisting the Fluttermane since it'll probably live anyway. And then I can just Heavy Slam it. Alrighty. Now show me you did do what I thought you were going to do. In fact, I'd rather see, like, you switch to Dazzling Gleam this time, even. But I do want to see the Grassy Glide. Uh, no Grassy Glide. Moonblast into our Chaladon. We take it pretty well. Bulk up. So anything you're throwing, even if you did, like, read this and go high horsepower, you shouldn't do too much. Oh, and it's just a Wood Hammer. Okay. That does more to our Chaladon than Glide, but not much. And thank you for the healing. I appreciate it. Oh, and we're faster than their Rillaboom? Cool. It's our speed. 110. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. No speed investment on that thing. And I'm gonna just Drain Punch and Heavy Slam. Good luck! Your Heavy Slam swap in would be Incineroar, but you would boost my ape if you did that. You're gonna go Terra... Water... Oh, do you have Terra Blast? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Oh, just Parasite. That's fine. Okay. 
I thought you had Terror Blast or something. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Man. Yeah, I can swap out. Wait. They probably have got the tell. I need to double swap immediate. Oh, they already brought in got the tell. No. Okay. That's scary. Uh, but we're so strong. Like, good luck protecting this whole time. We're gonna be doing a ton of damage. Because you got a fake out turn, protect turn. You don't have Terra. I'm gonna be going hard at that got the tell. Yikes. Okay. Um, they're gonna fake out. They're gonna fake out Annihilate. Nothing I can do but Rage Fist. They're gonna fake out. Count drops to two. They're gonna protect. Count drops to one. They're gonna swap and let me kill something that isn't got to tell. Or it is got to tell. Either way, Ape is gone. Tell me I got a lot of body press boosts. Yes. All right. Plus three. Cool. I will body press your flutter main slot. You might just swap that out now and bring in Rillaboom for another fake out. Just to protect. Not faking out? Okay, you are faking out. All right. Um, do I still want to Rage Fist to the Gothitelle slot? even though I know they're gonna protect. They must have protect. On a team comp like this, they're gonna protect. So who does Fluttermain swap into? Nothing that can really take a Rage Fist. So I'm happy to Rage Fist. Get like the electro shot on the last turn? I don't know. I guess just Dragon Pulse just in case, but it's not gonna matter. Yeah, they swap that out. Who are we killing? Who do we get? You'll give us Rillaboom. Eh. Yeah, and you just protected. Okay, there was nothing else I could have done there. Well, I'm kind of glad that's down, because you don't know this, but I have Ogre Pond last. Rillaboom was kind of one thing I wanted gone. Uh, now they can just... They could swap their Gothitelle. They could go for a double protect. They could just attack and give me Gothitelle. Maybe they don't want it in the endgame. But they can just bring out Fluttermane to protect that slot for sure. Or they could show me their last? I think that's Fluttermane. Yeah. Alright, uh, Rage Fist into this slot, and Body Press into this slot. You'll just Protect, and... I think your best play is to go for Double Protect on Gothitelle. And if you get it, then you just basically win. But if you don't, you lose Gothitelle instead of something more important that's in the back. Man. Yep, Fluttermane protects, Gothitelle didn't swap, and so Gothitelle's going for a double protect. At least Gothitelle doesn't get it. Okay. Oh, at least one thing went right here. <laughs> you know, small mistake, probably didn't matter. I never actually tried to switch out. Like, there's no way they were competitive, but they could have been. I should have at least given it a shot, but... Alright. You successfully perished Song Dust with Water Terra Fluttermane. Man. Man, man, man. Alright, but we got full health. We got double follow me's. We might be okay. I'd be a lot happier if I still had Terra. But I mean, Ogre Pond's not going to take much damage with a friend guard partner. And who is your last? Incineroar. Ah, oh, we get Intimidate. Alright, well you just protected Fluttermane. Would you go for Parish Song here? Fake out into Parish Song?
I really want to double protect here, but I'm wondering if you would just... But then Fluttermane's the fastest thing on the field. So I would only have to take out Incineroar. No, I think that's okay. I think this is okay. I don't think you're going to pair a song here. We're just going to protect, get rid of that fake out turn. Yep. Into that. Okay, we got some chip. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And you did perish, Song. You're crazy. You're actually crazy. So we need to take out Incineroar. And that's it. That's all we need to do. Because if Incineroar is gone, Ogre Pond becomes the slowest thing on the field. Now, if you also have Trick Room and pop that at the last second. <laughs> Wouldn't like to see that. But I don't think this game is coming down to Parasong. Incineroars don't really carry Protect. Wow. Wow. This one does. Wow, and the Fluttermane didn't Protect. Just a Moonblast, which does nothing. Okay, same plan. Incineroar is going to have to get three protects in a row for this plan for the, of theirs to work. Because I'm pretty sure this combo will take you out. Yeah. Yeah, this has to do it. They get the double! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Wait, how much does Moonblast do? 61 damage? Okay, we can take another Moonblast. We have to take another Moonblast because... Mouse Hold is faster than Fluttermane. Wow, this this is crazy. I... We have to get this. I because They have to go for the Triple Protect. They have no other play. Super Fang into Ivy Cudgel has to do it, and... Fluttermane has to not knock out Overcon. Oh boy. Okay, they don't get the triple. We get the Super Fang, we hit. Moonblast. Doesn't crit. And Ivy Cudgel should take that out. Woo! Okay. Wow. What a weird game. What a weird game. Oh, boy. Yeah, Mouse goes down, then you go down. You're slower than Mouse Hold, that's kind of weird. Maybe you're only faster than Incarnate Landers? And then Ogre Pond goes down last. Good job, Ogre Pond. Whew! Lost with your own Parish Song. <laughs> Man. All right, we're back here with the rental code. I would have gone 4-0 if I had remembered to terastalize Umbreon in that one game. I'm so sorry, Umbreon. That was my bad. Uh, but thank you, Kirby. This team is put together beautifully. Everything functioned the way it was supposed to do when I clicked the right button. Uh, and it just works perfectly. I love it. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys like it too. Go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Uh, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.